oil, that's what created the best town on earth. However, Petrolia is much more than just the black gold that continues to be drawn from creaking wells operating just a short stroll from our thriving downtown. 300 yards from here in the creek was an oil spring that became the father of Petrolia. This was the highest per capita income in the world at this time. Uh, it was the oil capital of Canada for years and years where Imperial Oil was established and ran until 1900. It was an extraordinary place and it continues to be because the town of Petrolia has a great interest in its heritage and is always looking ahead. Today we use a combination of local initiatives and web-based applications to preserve and promote our heritage and global legacy. Facebook, History Pin and the Virtual Museum of Canada have been instrumental in ensuring that our digital generation is able to enjoy our story. Today we're going to talk about the town of Petrolia and how unique it is. Uh, we here refer to the town as the greatest town on earth and we truly believe that. We are like a family. We have a community center, professional theater, and uh, lots of shopping, parks, and uh, the list goes on forever in the town of Petrolia uh, has a lot to offer. And I think if you come and visit, you will be surprised because uh, it's, it's just a great little town. It's a, it is a community. John Duff Limited has been in Petrolia since the late 1960s and this is one of the best towns to do business in. We're a custom metal steel fabricating plant. We service areas far and wide from around here. We're continuously upgrading our equipment looking for newer and better CNC operated shears and brakes and high def plasma tables. Always looking for something new to bring to our shop floor to keep us the most current that we can possibly be. I think the internet is our most valuable resource for marketing our custom metal fabricating plant. I use my, my website, I use our email, I use Facebook all the time. I make sure I'm constantly updating so that we're rising in the Google ranks. So for us, it really is our key marketing strategy. Looking back over the last 15 years since we opened Juice Computers, it's incredible to see the miniaturization and the affordability of technology. It is unbelievable how what was a huge workstation now has thousands of times much more power, fits in the palm of your hand, runs on your wrist. Amazing. It was something new in the world, just like us. So we've grown to over 20,000 customers. Google, billions of customers. Someday, Google. <laughs> I'm Teresa McDonald. I'm the manager of Antel and Fairbank hardware in Petrolia, Ontario. We've been in existence since 1865. Uh, we have recently branched out into the solar industry. We offer PV panels and thermal solar to residential and industrial customers. It is a new field, relatively new field, and we are interested in solar. We believe that is the way of the future. That is why we have uh, got in on the ground floor. I like that Petrolia, it's got quite a historic feel to it, but it's still very modern age. Like we've got all these old buildings like the Victoria Playhouse and the library, but we're bringing it into now having movies and tutoring for elderly on how to use internet and free Wi-Fi in town. It's getting to be quite a lot of progress, but still staying with our roots. We're definitely a 21st century school. We have Chromebooks in every single classroom and a computer lab, which we don't really use very much anymore because now we have Chromebooks. But we're definitely more and more every year learning new ways to use technology and Google Classroom and Google Drive and that sort of stuff to change our way of learning. In 2014, Petrolia partnered with Blue Water Power to retrofit the street lights to LED lamps. This is a cost-saving initiative which will benefit the town in the future. Behind me you will see the future of wastewater treatment plant in Petrolia. Currently under construction, the plant is slated to open in 2018 and will be state-of-the-art. Thanks to over $14 million in funding from the federal and provincial government, we are able to secure the future of Petrolia for many generations. The town of Petrolia stepped in and helped us put this new building together and um, we started recruiting doctors. We have three new doctors and 13,000 patients rostered, which is phenomenal for a town of 5,500 people. 
Most of our patients um, come from outside Petrolia, from small rural centres. But one of the visions we have for the team is to be a centre for rural health medicine, a model for other communities, and to be a, a teaching and research centre. We've won um, two awards already for some innovative and um, very effective programming, both within this community and outside the community. We do use Google daily here. We use it for research. We use it for navigating what is a very, very complex system, as people know. Um, we use um, many of the services that Google offers. Um, both our doctors and our staff use it. So technically, we're, I think we're cutting edge here. This is Victoria Hall Theatre, also known as Victoria Playhouse Petrolia. It was reopened after a devastating fire in 1992, so it was a brand new space. It was designed for theatre, for the performing arts, and it was designed for spoken word. In partnership with the Department of Canadian Heritage through its Cultural Spaces Fund, the Town of Petrolia partnered and put together $300,000 for a complete retrofit of the theatre. And what we were able to do is change all of the technology, increasing our efficiencies, also increasing our capacity by using LED technology, uses less power, we're able to add more instruments using the same amount of wattage that we had before. So we moved from racks and racks of, of equipment down to a digital console. We were able to change out our speaker systems, our amplifiers, all digital, very slick, sounds great. In addition to some of the other retrofits we did with the lighting and audio systems, we also enhanced the theater experience by adding digital projection. It enhances our live productions, as well as we have the capacity to show movies here at Victoria Hall. The internet has helped us as well. It's allowed us to reach out to a much broader community through web presence, through social media, to film and, and project um, our images on a much wider audience. Uh, just because we're a rural town doesn't mean we can't uh, achieve the things that uh, big cities achieve. What we want to do is we want to bring ourselves to the next level. Uh, you know, we're 5,500 people in Petrolia. Uh, there's no reason why uh, we can't be the hub, the beta site, for thinkers and the doers uh, when it comes to technology. So I'm quite pleased to have this event here. Um, I think it's a stepping stone for us. I think uh, with this, it will help us achieve a great deal of things. One of the things the staff suggested was having free Wi-Fi downtown. Um, so we implemented that, and we have 45,000 visitors that come and see our plays. The feedback we're getting from, from the folks that visit is extremely positive. Uh, they're extremely pleased that we offer that service for free, and uh, I can tell you that they take advantage of it. You'll see in a few years, we're going to go from good to great. So I encourage all of you to come visit us because you will be surprised. Petrolia is going to be on the map. Once this hits uh, Google, uh, we're going to get a lot of hits. And uh, there's going to be a lot of people that, that want to come and see Petrolia. Great place to live, work and play.